The movie starts and a man is lying dead in the night we can see that he was watching his own intimate tape. The murder report happens only in the morning police arrive for investigation. After a while court appointed lawyer also comes there. He is then learned from the doctor that the reason for the death was a heart attack. Crime scenes are one bedroom the bed was cuffed. There are marks on the person who has been murdered his name is Andrew Marsh he had a date last night, he made a tape with his date. He was watching lying on the bed when he was murdered who was Andrew dating? Its information is to Andrew's secretary the secretary's name is Joanne Braslow who comes and says that Andrew's girlfriend killed him now the name of this girlfriend is Rebecca when Andrew's funeral runs, Rebecca is there too, everyone blames her looks at her disgustingly because Andrew and Rebecca had a big age difference everybody was thinking that Rebecca was with Andrew only for money at this funeral itself, a lawyer comes to meet Rebecca the name of this lawyer is Frank, Frank tells her that maybe the police can charge you Rebecca says that I did not kill him whatever people think is wrong, his age was never a problem for me, I loved him why would I kill him and Frank becomes Rebecca's lawyer at night. Frank was having dinner with his family his wife also felt that Rebecca was with Andrew only for his money next day Rebecca is called for a police investigation now Robert asks Rebecca, on the day you were with Andrew did you both get intimate? She says yes to this he asks her about Andrew's heart condition, Rebecca says that I did not know that he also had a heart condition, Andrew kept all of this hidden from her, Robert asks have you ever used cocaine she says no. Robert's reason for thinking was that the night Andrew died he had taken cocaine that night, they think that Rebecca forced Andrew to give cocaine he had an already heart condition he also took cocaine so it would kill him soon, heart attack came because of this they think Rebecca intentionally killed Andrew she got intimate with him and also gave him cocaine all this put a load on Andrew's heart and he died. Rebecca's lawyer Frank says that we should leave from here they do not want to answer much but suddenly Rebecca is arrested, Frank asks Robert what are you doing? Robert says that the cases are strong, Rebecca had a big motive, before he died, Andrew had changed his will according to will, Rebecca is going to get 1 million dollars after Andrew's death Frank didn't know about it after a while. Frank gets Rebecca bailed out he says you had a good motive for this reason the case has become strong, Rebecca has no idea about this she says what was it Frank's is surprised and then says that according to Andrew's will you are going to get a million dollars she says again that I did not kill him she didn't even know about the will, Frank says that now Robert will question your character in front of you, Rebecca says that whatever they were saying we loved each other. Rebecca and Andrew were getting intimate with handcuffs Rebecca says that I never forced him for anything we always did what he wanted in one scene we can see that Robert has come to Frank's office to meet him where Andrew's secretary, Joanne is also present, Joanne tells Frank this was always Rebecca's plan she herself has also seen Rebecca many times doing drugs if Joanne can become a great witness then Frank gets very angry after hearing all this he comes directly to Rebecca tells her that you should have told me the truth about everything now the police have evidence, Joanne will also testify, Rebecca calms him down and brings him to a place there is a shop where all natural medicines are available that one medicine that looks like cocaine in actuality, she says I am suffering from convulsions so I keep taking this medicine all the time. Frank has come to know the truth so now he takes a sigh of relief acupuncture therapy is also run in this shop, Rebecca was doing this therapy so Frank notices her he also comes to drop her home on the way he say that I will give my life to win this case after which we are shown court appointments directly in front of the jury, Robert says that Rebecca is a very bad woman she saw an old man saw his bank balance calculated everything and targeted him she killed him now she is going to get all his money after that Frank says to Yuri, the way the case is looking it is not that way. People look at something and create an opinion about it after this the forensic doctor is called robot asks him how did Andrew die, doctors say that it was because of cocaine but he himself did not take it he had a nasal spray in which he used to keep medicine, cocaine was put in it and due to that he died already he had a heart condition and cocaine became the deadliest combination in it. The doctor says that when Andrew died he had handcuffs in his hand on this Frank takes the observation he says that Andrew had marks on his hand these marks can be from earlier also after this the forensic doctor leaves from there. After this, Andrew's personal doctor is called in court. Robert asks this doctor about an incident once Andrew took cocaine to try at the time he was in a lot of pain he was left dying doctor tells all these things to the court. 
Robert establishes here if cocaine was so dangerous for Andrew he would never think of taking it again in his life he tells everyone that he was forcefully given cocaine and died after this Joanne is called to the court. Robert asks her questions then Joanne says that Andrew was worried before he died the way his and Rebecca's relationship is going its stress was coming to him when they were intimate they used to play games with each other this put a load on Andrew's heart after this. Frank again asks Joanne the question he again says what was relationship between you and Andrew? Joanne says we had a professional relationship but she used to work with him for six years and sometimes used to talk. Frank then says that Rebecca was about to move to a new city, having been in love with each other so it probably made him stressed. Frank wants to prove here that workload and Rebecca's going has become too much for Andrew that's probably why he got a heart attack. Frank has some reports against Joanne he show in court that it is proof that Joanne was a drug addict he asks Joanne, did you supply these drugs to your boss whatever Joanne will say now won't hold much and she can't say much more against Rebecca today hiring very well done, Rebecca and Frank come back to celebrate again Frank asks Rebecca how did you like Andrew when you first met him? Rebecca says I look at the whole room I choose whatever I like there, same happened with Andrew. Frank also asks Rebecca to take a look at this room she glances at all of the men. Frank asks her who did you like but doesn't want to tell him. Here we can see both were flirting with each other Frank comes to drop Rebecca home and Rebecca directly asks him, are you thinking it would be like this if we got intimate? Frank remains that I be your lawyer that would be wrong he left from here but he did not start the car. And he kept watching Rebecca's house he saw that Rebecca has kept her door open. Frank changed his mind and reached the house after this, both of them came close and became intimate, Rebecca plays games with whomever she is intimate with, she also plays with Frank in the same way because of this marks had come on Frank's body he notices this while taking a shower the next day when his wife was also around, he got scared seeing her cover himself in it after this we shown the court again in which Robert is now talking to Andrew's doctor, asks him if Rebecca and Andrew are both your patients. Did Rebecca ever ask you about Andrew? Doctor says yes here he wants to say that Rebecca knew about Andrew's heart condition. Frank then asks question doctor he asks did you ever have some relationship with Rebecca he tells everyone that Rebecca and the doctor were dating when Rebecca broke up with the doctor he was very upset he also threatened her he said that I will destroy your life. Frank says that's what the doctor is trying to do today's hiring also went very well. Rebecca is overjoyed so Frank and she become intimate in the parking lot after this in the next hiring we can see that Robert has brought a new witness, Frank did not know about this witness he takes objection but the judge does not agree and this witness can testify the name of this witness is Jeffrey, Jeffrey and Rebecca also had a relationship with each other Robert asks about it, Jeffrey says that his relationship with Rebecca was very intense when they were intimate. Rebecca would always push him he could never match Rebecca's passion. Jeffrey also had a heart condition so the load on his heart started coming he also had surgery on her heart so after that Rebecca left her and went away. He says that Rebecca always likes to be in control because of this testimony. Case has become hard for Rebecca now everyone understands that every old man is trapped by Rebecca and plans to kill him so that she can get everything property etc. When Frank talks to Rebecca after court he is furious. He says you should have told me all this starting to doubt her he says that your type is different he also has realization of his mistake he says we can't have any relationship anymore. Wants to keep all this situation professional when Frank comes to visit his wife at night his wife is furious at him. Frank asks her what happened and she says that people have started talking this town is small and always sees Frank's car in front of Rebecca's house. Today Rebecca also got a call for Frank. Frank's wife has got suspicious and she is angry with him he had also seen the marks on Frank's body. She confronts him and says that how can you do this? Frank admits and says sorry to her his wife is angry and she leaves from there because of Rebecca there was a problem in his marriage he is very angry with her he comes to Rebecca's house in anger he is said that you told my wife what do you think of yourself? Rebecca says you went angry do you still want to work with me or not I called to ask, Frank still doesn't believe her, he was leaving, then Rebecca starts teasing on him these two are then intimate while getting intimate. Rebecca was about to handcuff Frank's hand but Frank did not let this happen this time he tied Rebecca's hands after this in the next scene, 
Let's see that Frank's click was checking all the evidence and this he found a videotape in which it is seen that Andrew is getting intimate with Joanne. Joanne had said that Andrew and her relationship are strictly professional. After this it can be proved that Joanne also had a motive in the next hiring. Frank asks Joanne the question for so many years you worked for Andrew he had put $250 in your name in his will when he met Rebecca he changed his will how were you failing all this? Joanne says, it didn't matter much to me Frank tells the court what he finds out about Joanne and Andrew. Arguing that Joanne was jealous when she saw Rebecca and Andrew together she then kills Andrew and tries to blame Rebecca when Joanne was already a drug addict. Rebecca becomes even more suspicious and her chances of winning the case have increased again. Rebecca tells Frank that let you give me testimony I can clear everything. Frank says that it will not be needed if Rebecca did this then there is a risk in it but still she convinces Frank. Rebecca says in her testimony that I loved Andrew and always took care of him we never married because Andrew had already had too many divorces. Rebecca says that whatever things we used to do in bed Andrew liked it so we used to do it. He himself wanted all this the night Andrew died she tells about that night. I came to his house. M. We got intimate and after that she left the next day she came to know that Andrew had died she did not even know about Andrew's will this time Robert takes the observation says you used to go to Andrew's doctor only, you had an affair with both Andrew and doctor. All this cannot be one confidence, Rebecca speaks it is a small town if I start having a relationship then maybe I can relate to you too. Robert says you always date old and rich people all of them have heart condition he first called Jeffrey to court, in which he said that when he met Rebecca he had changed his will. In its defense Rebecca says that I like strong and confident men I like someone who is ready to experiment generally old man fulfills all these criteria that's why she dates. Robert says, when you came to know about Jeffrey's heart condition why did you leave him? Rebecca says because he was cheating on me Jeffrey is actually gay she tells the court. Jeffrey was also in this courtroom he humiliated and left from there whatever allegations were being leveled against Rebecca she has now cleared them all. Yuri then makes a decision Rebecca is innocent. Rebecca is very happy after winning the case now that this case is over. Rebecca comes to Frank she says you did a great job you even made me believe that I am not a murderer. Frank is shocked to hear this at night he comes to visit Rebecca's house here he notices that she is with Andrew's doctor we learn that Rebecca and the doctor were in a relationship they always had a plan will trap an old rich people and after death they will take all their property. Doctor used to have records of everyone so that's why he told Rebecca about Andrew and Jeffrey while Rebecca and the doctor were talking. Frank came over he has figured everything out then he says that the drugs that you got may have been supplied by the doctor. You stay up against each other in the court so that no one gets suspicious. Frank is very impressed by figuring out all these plans Rebecca was making a fool of Frank too. Doctor didn't know about Frank and Rebecca he is relieved that Rebecca was only using him. Knowing all this he gets disturbed and wants to kill Rebecca. Frank and he fights when he kills Rebecca finally the doctor shoots Rebecca and kills her later all the police come and arrest the doctor there is also Robert here. Robert tells Frank that justice has finally been done this is how the movie ends. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notification, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.